それでは、えー、スコット・コーカー氏の質疑応答を始めさせていただきたいと思います、えー、ご質問のある方いらっしゃいましたら挙手にてお願いいたしますはいでは Good to see you, Mr. Coker. I, I want to ask you do you have a, what, what kind of opinion about s t u r g i n today?、Uh, about which one? The、uh, s t u r g i n Stadium?、Uh, the arena? No, 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 no. Achilletas opponent. s t u r g i n Oh, yeah, sorry, yes.、Yeah. Uh, listen, I, I, I thought the fights、um, today were very competitive, and I think that、uh, uh, Archuleta's opponent was very strong. And,、um, I think he might have even hurt Archuleta in that fight a couple of times, but、um, that fight was very close. And it just shows you how much you know, the Ryzen fighters, to me, have grown in the last five, six years. I see a big growth spurt. And keep in mind, when you talk about the Bellator athletes, and I'm not just saying this because you know, it's, it's a company I run, but over the last six, seven years, This is the best roster we've ever had in the history of the company. And if you look at every weight class, 205, we have the best 205 pounder in the world. Could be, I think could be, compete with anybody. The best 185 pound, Johnny Evelyn. I'm telling you, this guy just beat Gigard Rusasi. He's another guy. But if you go all the way down the weight classes, not, do we not just have fighters that could beat the UFC, we have fighters that can compete at three or four different、uh, you know, like、fighters at each weight class that could compete against. Any company in the planet. So we have a, a very strong, strong uh, uh, fighter base right now. So I think he did a good job. I think Juan said he was very tough.、Uh, Juan was happy to take the win and go home. えっと、質問としましては、あの今日の対抗戦に関してどういうような感想をお持ちでしょうかということでした。えー、回答としましては、あの本当にどれも接戦で、あの特にあのアジェリタ選手の相手は本当に強かったと思います。で、えー、なんとか本当にそれもアジェリタ選手が接戦で勝てたんでよかったと思います。で、これはやはり、えー、この5、6年で、えー、ライジの選手がどれだけやっぱり全体的に成長してきているかというようなあことを証明していることだと思います。で、また、あのベラトーの選手もこの5、6年でもあの本当にどのウェイトクラスでも最高レベルに達しているというふうに思います。でこういった選手たち、我々の選手たちはあの UFC だけでなくどの世界中のどの団体に行っても戦える選手であるというふうに思っています。でそういったまあ選手層が厚くなってきている結果がこういうふうに出たというふうに思っています。では続いてお願いします。すみません。えっ、ー、と今回の五千全勝という結果はえっ、ー、と予想されてた通りでしょうか。それとも予想以上の結果だったでしょうか。Uh, were you expecting this five and zero win, or was it、um, better than you thought? You know, I always said, you know, my wish is to go five and zero,、uh, and、uh, and I'm happy that my guys won. But、um, to me, it was very competitive out there. That last fight,、uh, Mr. Souza,、uh, when he was fighting AJ, there was a couple times I w- I thought maybe he might get tapped. So. It's,、uh, it was very stressful to watch that last fight. It was very back and forth. I thought AJ did what he had to do to win, but、uh, you know, anything can happen in a fight, as you know, in MMA. So、uh, it was entertaining night of fights. あのまあ常にあの 5-0 で勝てればいいというふうに思ってますけどもまあ当然何が起こるか分かりませんしあの最後の試合でもあの何度かあサトシ選手がまあ AJ をまあタップからタップ取るんじゃないかというふうにあの感じがしてえドキドキしてストレス非常にストレスフルな展開でしたただあのやるべきことをやって勝ったと思いますのでまあその結果かなというふうに思います、えー、とスポットさんから見て今日のベラトルゼの MVP は誰ですか、uh, Who is the MVP on your side? Oh, I, I、um, uh, you know, I think I might have to give it to、uh, AJ McKee. I thought he was in some dangerous situations. He got out of them. He did what he had to do to win, and I think that、uh, he had a great performance. And again, I think that when you look at uh, uh, Souza, the, the gentleman he fought, I mean, that guy is a dangerous fighter, as you guys know. And、uh, I think he'd be、uh, something where he'd definitely get ranked in the top 10 in the world、uh, from this performance. So, You know, this, this was something that was very, 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 very、uh, you know, stressful to watch because I thought a couple of times he might have been in big trouble. 
あのエイジ巻きじゃないかなというふうに思います。あのさっきも言ったように何度か危ないシーンあったんですけどもうまく脱出したりしましたし相手のやはりサトシ選手っていうのは非常に危険な選手だというふうに思いますで世界でもトップ10に入るような選手ではないかというふうに思っていますでそういった試合を見るのは本当にストレスフルだったんですけども AJ としてはよくやってくれたというふうに思いますはい続いてご質問ある方Hi, hi, Scott. First of all, congratulations, 5 and 0. And I think you are very happy besides the stress food. But、uh, I saw a picture from Khabib in social media with you.、Uh, did you have any, any, any comments about him say to you about the show, about the Japan, for anything you can share with, with us about yeah, the s p r i n g Yes. Yeah, it's very interesting because he wasn't here in the heyday. You know, I got to see those fights. You know, a lot of you know that it's been in the martial arts business a long time.、Um, you know, I, I started working for K1 in 1999. So I got to see all the great fights of K1, or a lot of the great fights of K1. I got to see the great fights of Pride.、Uh, and how many of you have ever seen the production and the, and the fans? And he, he was freaking out. He was telling me, this is unbelievable. He kept telling me, this is unbelievable. I had no idea that. That you know, something like this was happening you know, in Japan. And I said, you know, this is where it started. I mean, this is where you know, MMA and martial arts combat it started here. And it, it grew throughout the rest of the world. But there was a time where Japan had the best fighters in the world, the best production in the world, the best promotion in the world. And、uh, you know, that's why the UFC bought it, right? So just like my company, Strike Force, I think we had a great roster, great events, and they wanted our fighters. so They bought it. And so, you know, it's so ironic to sit here with Habib, who's like freaking out about the production and the staging and all the just the pageantry.、Um, but、um, he, he was really impressed. And it was just so weird because, you know, he, like I said, he wasn't here when, when, when it was even bigger than it is today. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy he was here. I think he was, uh, uh, you know, extremely excited. And I think he'll be talking about. Japanese MMA and Ryzen in this show for a long time. えっと、質問としましては、あの、ハビブ選手と何かあ、今回の大会において話したことありますかということでした。で、えー、っと、回答としましては、あのハビブ選手があの日本の格闘技のやはり全盛時代にここにいなかったあの見たことがなかったということで、まあ、逆に私はあの1999年から k 1で働き始めたり、えー、プライドも見ていますし、えー、ここでの格闘技というものはどういったものかというのを当時の時代を知っていますでハビブ選手は正直今日の大会を見て感じてあの信じられないと。こんだけ盛り上がっているのかというふうな形で驚いていました。そして私は彼に対して、あの、すべて、MMA、えー、というものはここですべて始まったんだというふうに伝えて、えー、当然、あの、そういったあ、当時盛り上がっていたからこそ UFC が、あの、プライドを、まあ、最終的には買収しましたし、私のストライクフォースも買収したりしていました。で、やはりそういったあ格闘技の盛り上がりが日本にあったということには驚いて、実際に今回来て肌で感じて、えー、感心していました。Uh, so, it's a lot of people who are in the And besides the, the main card, do you have some, any fighter from the previous card? If you take a, a this person is very good, the, his performance is very good because we have a lot of finish today.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, a rather long card, and I didn't catch a lot of the、uh, undercard fights, but、uh, my, my team, fight team, was watching it back、uh, in California. Watching the live stream, and so you know, they will have some notes for me next week on what they think. And and I, you know, I just want to, and I told this to Saki Ibarra too. I said, you know,、um, you know, if he has some fighters that he feels wants to come and fight in America or anywhere else in the world, they'll be welcome to come and fight. And if he wants to have a super fight with one of my fighters, doesn't have to be our champions. I mean, our roster is, is open to, to rise and to share as well. えー、と今大会に関して、まあ、全体的な印象ってどうでしょうかと。あの当然あの、アンダーカードも多くて、非常に長い一日だったんで、私も全部試合は見れていませんけども、まあ、カリフォルニアにいる私の部下たちにちゃんと見るように、であと、あの彼らもあのストリームでのライブ配信見ているかと思いますが、あのそういった意味で、
、えー、坂木原 CEO が、まあ、私のところにある選手を送り込みたいという希望があれば、当然、我々としてはオープンですし、逆にあのスーパーファイト的なことを日本で行いたいというのであれば、我々もそういった要望にはオープンですので、えー、そういった、これは、まあ、や,あのやっていきたいというふうに思っています。For you as a promoter, what, what did you see for the future in, in this relationship with Ryzen and Bellator? You know, I, I、uh, will meet with Saki Ibarra in probably the next couple weeks and we'll have a conversation. I think that,、uh, you know, this is a lot of work to promote a show like this and it was, you know, you could tell how great it was produced.、Uh, I think he should be extremely proud of everything he, he's done here. Um, but, um, you know, the relationship is good,、uh, it goes back 20 years. Uh, I continue, I mean, I, I, I plan to continue to work with Saki Bar, and I think we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out that'll be very unique and fun for the fans. えっとまあ、プロモーターとしてご自身、このようなあライジンとベラトールの関係というのはどういうふうに思いますでしょうかという質問でした。でもちろんあの今大会の反省もこの数週間やっていきますしまた今後に関しては坂倉氏と,ともいろいろと話していきたいというふうに思っていますで当然彼との付き合いはもう20年前にも遡るので今後また新たな展開としてどういったものがあるとかというのはもう随時話し合っていきたいというふうに思っていますラストワンクエスチョンでお願いします、えー、とゴングマガジンです2つ質問があります、えー、と JMOC にアメリカからまあジャッジも入りあの今回のジャッジがフェアなものだ、心配だったジャッジはフェアなものだったと感じましたか、uh, So,、uh, this time there were judges from the US also. Do you think it was a,、uh, the judges were pretty fair? Yeah, I think the judging was fair.、Uh, I think that、um, the,、um, you know, we, we brought two judges, but I think there was, you know, a, a rotation of eight or nine judges from on, the, on the Japanese side, and、uh, we didn't have any complaints. I know that our guys are very, Very、uh, seasoned, and we brought the best officials that we could.、Um, and I know that the Japanese officials have been doing this for a very long time and they have a nice federation, so、uh, no complaints. あのまあ、今回2人、われわれからは2人連れてきたんですけれども、まあ、日本側も8人か9人であのローテーションしていたと思うんですけれども、まあ、そういった意味でも別にわれわれだろうが、日本側のジャッジだろうが、みんなあのベテランですし、そういった意味ではあの特にジャッジに関して何かしら文句があったとかっていうようなことは全くありません一方で、ライジンルールだと、ストップ・ドント・ムーブみたいなものもあった中で、今回それ、あのもし次回、あのもう1回対抗戦があるというあの話ですが。その時にルールがあのケージとユニファイドルールになった場合、もっと今の差が広がってしまうのではないかというふうな思いはありませんか。Um, so this time was rising rules,、uh, but、uh, maybe next time you have,、uh, if you have this kind of a you know fight in、uh, unified rules in a cage, do you think there will be much more difference between the Bellator and、uh, rising fighters? Yeah, I think that、um, you know as The Ryzen fighters get more experience in the different roles in the cage. It's going to take time, right? So they're used to fighting in a cage, and I mean, in a ring, and our guys are used to fighting in a cage. So, you know, our fighters to come here and、uh, compete in a different apparatus, different roles, different environment, different time frame.、Uh, I'm proud of them because、uh, it's not an easy thing to do. So, uh, uh, one of the things about these guys committed, I mean, we had Christmas time, this is New Year's. But these guys have got here like 10 days ago. So a lot of them arrived even before Christmas time. And they say, we're going to give up our Christmas. We're going to come to Japan early. And they've been training here for the last 10 days. And they did it properly. And、uh, I, I told them, I said, look, you, you don't take these fighters lightly because they're very good. So、uh, I think they did, they, they, take that to, they took that to heart and they did what they had to do. あのもちろんあの、ケージとかあのリングといったような違いですとか、ルールの違いというのはあの、慣れるには時間が必要だと思いますので、ライジの選手たちにもそういった意味では慣れる時間は必要かなというふうに思います。で今回、われわれの選手たちが、まあ、違うルール、えー、またあの時差ですとか、あーといったようなものを克服するために、まあ、クリスマスを返上して、10日前、2週間前から乗り日本に乗り込んできて、で私もライジンの選手たちをなめちゃいかんよというふうに厳しく言ってたので、まあ、それをしっかりと実践してくれた結果かなというふうに思っています。Mr. Scott, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much.